Okay, so just for a bit of context, what has happened, as you know, the Year 7 children, their characters are called uh, Angelo, Halle, Gustav and Naira. They've turned up for this detention. They're shut in the school um, with one teacher, caretakers. The school looks after animals. The school has some pigs and some chickens on the grounds. Um, so they've only been there a, a very short while when they hear a terrible scream coming from the pigs. Uh, they find when they get there, they find that one of the piglets has gone missing and there's just this strange substance left in the grass. that They don't know what it is. So they split up to look for the missing piglet. And then their teacher goes missing as well. So it's just the four of them. They're very freaked out. So they think we need to try and get help. So their next stop, they think, is to go to the caretakers to see if they can help them. But because the caretakers have already been acting strangely, they've been whistling this creepy tune um, and just acting in a kind of weird, mysterious way. They think we're not going to approach the caretaker's cottage from the front door. We're going to go around the back. We're going to look through the fence into their back garden and just try and, you know, suss out what's happening before we speak to them. So this is what's happening when Angelo is standing at the fence looking into the Latchett's backyard. Mrs. Latchett creaks open the door to one of the chicken coops, straining against the wind that wants to keep it shut. She scoops up a chicken and tucks it under her arm, singing gently to it as she closes the door, lowers the latch and follows the stone path further down the yard. At the other end of the yard, there's a crumbling circular stone structure about a metre high and covered with a wooden lid the thickness of my arm. It looks like an old well. A large tree stump rises from the scraggly grass next to it, an axe resting blade down in the top of the stump. Mrs. Latchett stops at the well, cooing at the chicken like it's a human baby and stroking its rust-coloured feathers. My brain feels slow and sluggish. I can't think what she's up to. I try to calculate the possibilities as I watch her squeeze the chicken tighter under her arm, so hard that she must be hurting it, while her other hand takes hold of the lid of the well. It's huge and heavy. It must weigh 50 kilos, and I know she can't possibly lift it but she does. She pulls it off like it's nothing and places it carefully beside her, leaning up against the well. Underneath is a gaping black hole that she leans over and looks into, peering down like it goes deep under the ground. She grabs the chicken with her right hand again, dangling it upside down by its feet, still singing that wretched tune. The chicken flaps and struggles. And just as I latch onto an awful thought, the idea unfurling in my mind like a tentacled monster oozing from a cave. She raises it higher, then with an actual whoop of glee, she throws it into the well. I almost cry out. What the hell was that? Hallie tugs my arm. Angelo, dude, Gus says, what happened? Just a minute, I hiss back, my heart thudding so hard it makes me feel sick. And though I expect an argument, they fall silent and wait while I watch. Mrs. Latchett gazes down into the well. Her face lit up, making her look like an entirely different person. So long, little chicken, she giggles like a toddler clapping her hands. I gasp and drop to the ground, crouching with my hands on the floor to steady me, trying to understand what I've just seen. What is it, Naira says. Would you move? I'm looking now. And she pushes me with her foot so she can stand in front of the hole. Are you OK? Hallie crouches ne down next to me. There's something weird going on. I whisper, noticing an absence of noise that was there a moment ago. The wind is building, rushing past my ears and making trees creak. But it's quieter than it was. I can't even see her, Naira hisses. And that's when I realise that Mrs Latchett has stopped humming. I stand up. Can I look? I say. Naira shrugs and steps away from the hole. I put my eye to it again, seeing everything in the Latchett's yard as it was when I last looked. The chicken coops, the tree stump, the well with its lid leaning against the side, except Mrs. Latchett has gone. I carefully push myself against the fence, my eyes straining to see the furthest corners of the garden. She can't have just disappeared. Then I swear out loud as my view is suddenly obscured by an eye on the opposite side of the hole watching me back. 